PP Island, or more precisely, Islands, offers stunning features, attractions, and activities that will keep you and your travel companions busy and entertained. It's an idyllic tropical paradise where no cars or roads exist, and all the people you come across will greet you warmly with a smile. And while PP is definitely a tourist destination, don't let that deter you. There are numerous reasons why so many people flock there. The islands are breathtakingly beautiful and unique. Keep watching to hear about what we think are the best things to do on PP Island, Thailand. Rent a long tail boat and go exploring. What better way to spend an afternoon on an island oasis than by hiring a captain to sail you around one of the most gloriously beautiful places on Earth? Kick back and relax as you take in PP's natural splendor. Take time to swim with the fishes in the Tonsai Bay, observe the mischievous animals on Monkey Beach, or just enjoy the ride. By renting a private long-tail boat, you get to call the shots. If you're interested in hiring a more luxury experience or want to go for a little romantic getaway, then hiring a boat is a guaranteed way to make memories that'll stick with you for a lifetime. Trips do need to be booked in advance, although if you're lucky, you might be able to get in on a last-minute cancellation or find an available boat on one of the beaches. Boats can be rented by the hour or day, but you'll definitely want to spend at least half a day exploring all that PP has to offer. Go scuba diving or snorkeling? Ocean lovers take heat. Diving in PP is an absolute must. You'll be blown away by the array of colorful aquatic marine life in the vibrant underwater world. From dozens of species of fish to coral, turtles, sharks, and rays, the diversity of marine flora and fauna is stunning. You'll feel like you're swimming in a life-sized aquarium. We recommend checking out the Discover Scuba Dive experience if you aren't already an experienced diver. While there are dozens of astounding dive spots around the island, our favorite has to be Code Bida Nook. Immerse yourself in the PP nightlife. Geared towards young, party-hardy types, backpackers, and newlyweds, PP is one of Thailand's liveliest and boisterous islands. It boasts a vibrant beachside bar scene, several international pubs, and numerous live music venues that tend to stay open late into the night. The fire-spinning performances are always a hit with tourists, but we recommend grabbing some handcrafted tropical mixed drinks and relaxing on a beanbag chair on the beach while enjoying the show. While the majority of bars stay open until 2 a.m., there are a few that stay open longer and continue serving until the wee hours of the early morning. If the litany of bar options are a bit overwhelming, you can always grab a Thai bucket of your favorite cocktail and simply hop from one establishment to the next. These delicious buckets of booze are fairly inexpensive and great for sharing. One bucket is roughly four normal-sized cocktails, so drink responsibly and pace yourself. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Hike to the Koh PP Viewpoint Widely thought of as one of the best viewing areas in all the island, hiking to the Koh PP viewpoint will no doubt be one of the top highlights of your island adventure. While the viewpoint is just 600 feet above sea level, it offers breathtaking panoramic views of the island and the emerald water surrounding it. To get there, take a trail that starts at the town center by Lo Dalam Bay. The hike shouldn't be that difficult for most folks, as it's designated a beginner's path. The hike to the viewpoint takes about 20 to 30 minutes tops. It's a fairly short trek, but it can still be a bit strenuous on hot and humid days. So slap on some sunscreen with a high SPF and bring plenty of water. Once you get there, you'll find a small cafe that serves up ice-cold water, a variety of beers, and fresh coconut. If you're up for a longer hike, you can follow the trails past the cafe. These lead to Pak Nam Beach and Ran Thi Beach. These trails tend to be less crowded and are primarily used by locals. To get back to town, you can either take the trail you just took or rent a long-tail boat at one of the beaches. Stroll around Tonsai Village Considered by most to be the heart of PP Island, Tonsai Village is filled with shops, bars, dining spots, coffee shops, hostels, and other amenities. Pretty much at any hour, Tonsai is bustling. Its narrow streets are filled with galleries, gift shops, and clothing vendors. It's a great place to pick up a little souvenir to bring back home. It can be crowded at times, especially since Tonsai Village is where ferries dock, but this adds to the vibrant atmosphere that a lot of people seek out when visiting PP. And as we mentioned, no cars are permitted on the island. You either have to walk or bike around when exploring the village. After you've had your share of shopping and dining in the village, head on over to the beach to watch the sunset. 
Tonsai is situated within a short distance from some of the island's best beaches, such as Lodalam Beach and Tonsai Beach. Maya Beach Travelers from around the globe come to PP Island to visit the magnificent Maya Beach. This inlet features crystal clear waters and towering cliffs, and was featured in the 2000 Leonardo DiCaprio led film The Beach. As soon as you lay your eyes on Maya Beach, you'll immediately understand why many consider it to be paradise. In 2018, the beach was closed to tourists so it could be protected. The massive influx of visitors after the release of the 2000 film had begun to damage its natural resources. At its peak, more than 2.5 million visitors were flocking to the beach each year, making it one of the most popular of PP Island's attractions. On January 1, 2022, the Thai government reopened it to the public. Please be respectful and make sure you stay within designated areas if you visit. Pack out all your trash and do your part to help preserve this beautifully iconic attraction. Bamboo and Mosquito Islands Island hopping around PP is one of the best ways to experience the gorgeous scenery found in Thailand. Bamboo Island is located 3 miles from the northern edge of PP. This charming yet relatively small island is blanketed with a thick cover of bamboo trees, hence the name. The bamboo provides a fair amount of shade to shield you from the sun's blazing heat. You can snorkel or scuba dive off the coast over at the famed Hin Klang Coral Reef. The beaches are also quite lovely, especially since they tend to have far fewer people than elsewhere in the PP Island area. Mosquito Island is another remote locale just a couple miles off the main PP Island. It's uninhabited, but unfortunately it's also fallen victim to over-tourism. Because of this, you can no longer snorkel or visit the island at the moment, but you can still marvel at it while sailing around on a long-tail boat. Watch a Muay Thai fight this combat sport is popular all throughout Thailand. Matches are held in just about every city in the nation. Over the years, it's grown to become one of Thailand's most famous and beloved pastimes. Phi Island is home to a few different Muay Thai rings, where you can catch a match or even participate in one if you're feeling up to it. If you want to see a fight while on PP, head on over to the Reggae Bar. This incredibly touristy yet still delightful venue can be found easily by following the sound of the cheering crowds and start bells. Matches are held nightly, and you can enjoy a nice cold drink while taking in the fight. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to PP? Do you want to go? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.